हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर आस्ट टू एक्सप्रेस फोर्स एफ एज अ कार्टिजन वेक्टर देन डिटरमाइन इट्स कोऑर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स सो एज वी नो दैट फोर्स एफ इज अ वैक्टर एफ will always be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector the unit vector from a to b since this force is acting from this point a to b right so let's say that the unit vector is r a b and this is the force magnitude and the force magnitude is given which is 135 so we can write that this will be 1 135 times the unit vector and then we know that the unit vector is equal to the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude right so this is the position vector from a to b so let me represent that position vector so we can draw that this is the position vector from a to b this is r a b the position vector right and if we divide this position vector by its magnitude and multiply it by the magnitude of this force f so we will get the uh, this force f as a vector we will get that as a cartesian vector so now to find r a b we need to find the coordinates of this point a e from this origin and we need to find the coordinates of this point b from that origin o so we are given this o a distance which is 10 feet and we are given these two angles right so let's say that this point is let's say point p so the length of op will be equal to the cos of this 10 feet right so this will be 10 cos of 70 degrees right so the op length is this is 10 cos of 70 degrees and similarly uh, this length let's say that this is p dash so this op dash length is the cos of this length right this dark blue triangle so we can say that this op dash is this is 10 cos of 70 degrees and cos of this 30 right and similarly uh, this ap length is the sine of this 10 feet right if we consider this standing triangle this light blue triangle then this will be 10 uh, sine of 70 degrees right so we need to find the coordinates of this point a similarly this pp dash this is the sine component of this length this op right so we can say that this is 10 cos of 70 degrees cos of this third uh, sine of this 30 degrees remember this is sine component so to find the coordinates of this point a we need to move first uh, along the y axis so along the y we need to move this distance this is in feet right so let me find this this is uh, 10 cos of 70 10 cos of 70 cos of 30 so this distance is 2.96 feet this is 2.96 feet and this is 10 cos of 70 sin of 30 sin of 30 so this is 1.71 feet and this is 10 sin of 70 so 10 sin of 70 so this gives me 9.39 or we can say that it is approximately 9.40 feet so 9.40 feet right so now to reach this point a from this origin first we need to travel 2.96 feet along the y axis so i will write that the y coordinate is 2.96 then we need to travel this distance along the negative x axis this is the positive x axis so we need to travel in this direction which is 1.7 feet so i will write minus 1.71 and then after this point p we need to travel along the z axis right so along the z axis we need to move 9.40 feet in the positive direction right so this is 9.40 and this is also positive so this is in feet 
So these are the coordinates of this point A. Similarly, we need to find the coordinates of this point B from this origin O. So from this origin O, we need to travel this distance until this point, right? So this distance is 5 feet. So the x coordinate of this point B is 5 feet along the x axis. Then we need to move 7 feet along the negative y axis. So this is minus 7. And since this point B is in the x y plane, so there is no need to travel along the z axis. So the z coordinate of point B is 0. So now we can write that our a b the unit the position vector from a to b will be equal to the we will subtract the coordinates of point b from point a the corresponding coordinates of point b from point a so that will give us that vector right so this will be 5 minus the x coordinate of point B is 5 minus the x coordinate of A which is minus 1.71 so this will give us the i component of this vector the position vector from A to B similarly I will write plus then this minus 7 minus this right so I will write minus 7 minus 2.96 this is J and then 0 plus 0 minus this coordinate 9.40 k so this this will give us our a b right so this five this will become 5 plus 1.71 so this will become 6.71 i and this will become uh, minus so this will become 9.96 minus 9.96 j and this will become minus 9.40 k so this is the position vector from a to b similarly we can find the our a b magnitude directly using calculator so if i take the squares of these components of our a b and then i take the square root so that will give us the magnitude right so 6.71 square uh, plus 9.96 square plus 9.40 square and under the square root so that will give us the our AB magnitude so our AB magnitude is equal to 15.25 feet 15. Point to 5 feet right so now we can write let's say this is our equation 1 so we can write that that f Cartesian vector is equal to 135 and if I if I divide let me write it is so this will be f in equal to 135 times r e b so r e b this is 6.71 i minus 9.96 j minus 9.40 k and divided by its magnitude so the magnitude is 15.25 or we can divide each component by this magnitude so we can write that this is 15.25 this is 15.25 and this is 15.25 and similarly we can multiply this uh, magnitude as well right so I will do it in calculator directly right so this will be 135 times this so 135 multiply by 135 multiply by 6.71 divided by 15.25 so this gives us 59.4 59.4 then 135 into this thing right so this is minus 9.96 so minus 9.96 so this gives me minus 88.17 j and similarly again this is minus 9.40 so minus 9.40 this is minus 83.21 minus 83.21 k 
So, this is the f as a Cartesian vector. Now, we need to find the coordinate direction angles right. So, that is the alpha, beta and gamma angles of the this force f with the positive x, y and z axis respectively. So, we can write that this f vector in terms of uh, coordinate direction angles is equal to this is f the magnitude times cos of alpha i plus f cos of beta j plus f cos of gamma k right. So, now if I compare this with this. So, from this the, we can take this f as common right. So, we can write that this is f times this equation f times these terms right. So, now we can compare this one and this one. So, we can say that cos of alpha is equal to this cos of beta is equal to this ratio and cos of gamma is equal to this ratio. So, from this we can write that cos of alpha equals to uh, 6.71 divided by 15.25 and we can write that alpha will be equal to cos inverse this ratio. Similarly, beta will be equal to cos inverse of this ratio this is minus 9.96 divided by 15.25. Similarly, gamma will be equal to uh, cos inverse into minus 9.40 divided by 15.25. So, cos inverse 6.71 divided by 15.25. So, this is 63.90 degrees. Similarly, beta is minus 9.96. This is 130.78. Degrees and similarly the gamma this is 128.05 so 128.05 degrees this is alpha so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is acting from point a to b and these are the uh, coordinate direction angles of that force f with the positive x y and z axis so, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if it helps in your learning.